Water contamination by fuel oil can lead to several adverse effects, such as environmental pollution, health and safety risks, loss of resources, heavy fines and high maintenance costs. Don't pollute the environment. Be responsible with O2 PID. In a petrol station, tank overfilling, improper hose connection and product mixing during fuel delivery possesses great threat to fuel leakage into the environment and loss of business. For these reasons, an adequate system should be installed in the tank that can prevent environmental pollution and increase operational efficiency. Fafnir presents the O2 PID, an optical safety device to eliminate these problems. The tank truck consists of several compartments filled with different fuels that needs to be delivered to the respective storage tanks. The truck is connected to the ground with the help of an earthing cable. The O2 pit system is installed on the top of the underground tank and the connection to the tank truck is realized by electrically conductive hoses. Scenario 1. Hose connection control without O2 pit. Due to human error, the filling hose is not properly connected to the underground tank during fuel delivery. Without the O2 pit, when the fuel is delivered from the tank truck, fuel leakage occurs and a part of the fuel flows into the environment and enters the earth. Doing it better. Thanks to O2 PID. Scenario 1. Hose connection control with O2 PID. The O2 PID is now installed on the tank with proper electrical connections to the underground tank delivery inlet. The electrically conductive hose is not properly connected to the underground tank. Now when the fuel is pumped from the tank truck, the delivery will be blocked by the truck amplifier as no closed loop for the electricity flow is established between the truck amplifier and the delivery inlet, which indicates a hose disconnection. When the electrically conductive hose is properly connected to the underground tank, electricity flows from the truck amplifier to the delivery inlet and then returns through the earthing cable to the truck amplifier, making a closed loop. The truck amplifier thus ensures a correct hose connection and then allows for the fuel delivery. The presence of the O2 PID system ensures a closed loop and verifies the hose connection control without additional setup. Scenario 2. Product identification for crossover prevention without O2 PID. The compartment in the tank truck with fuel 95 is connected to the underground tank filled with diesel through the filling hose. Proper hose connection is established between the tank truck and the underground tank. Without the O2 pit, when the fuel is delivered from the tank truck, the fuel 95 is pumped into the underground tank with diesel and product mixing occurs. Doing it better, thanks to O2 PID. Scenario 2 Product identification for crossover prevention with O2 PID. The O2 PID is now installed on the tank with proper electrical connections to the delivery inlet of the underground tank filled with diesel. The electrically conductive hose is correctly connected between the tank truck and the underground tank. The truck amplifier is pre-programmed with the electrical product code of 95 fuel and the O2 pit is pre-programmed with the electrical product code of diesel. 
When the 95 fuel is pumped into the underground tank, the truck amplifier compares the pre-programmed 95 fuel product code with the product code stored in the O2 bit, which is diesel. Due to the mismatch or crossover, the truck amplifier does not allow for the fuel delivery. No wrong product will be pumped into the underground tank and product crossovers are prevented. When the truck amplifier identifies a match of the diesel product codes between the O2 pit sensor and the truck amplifier, then the delivery of fuel is allowed. Scenario 3 Overfill prevention for fuel drop without O2 pit. The compartment in the tank truck with diesel is correctly connected to the diesel underground tank through the filling hose and a proper hose connection is also established. Without the O2 pit, when fuel is pumped into the underground tank, the tank can reach its maximum capacity and causes an overfill. The hose will also be filled with excess fuel. Once the pumping is stopped and the hose is disconnected from the underground tank, the excess fuel flows into the environment and can reach the underground water. Doing it better, thanks to O2 pit. Scenario 3 Overfill prevention for fuel drop with O2 pit. The O2 pit is now installed on the tank with proper electrical connections to the delivery inlet of the underground tank. The electrically conductive hose is correctly connected between the tank truck and the underground tank, with both tanks filled with diesel. The fuel is now pumped into the underground tank and when the fuel reaches the maximum level and touches the optical prism of O2 pit sensor, the status of the sensor changes and a corresponding signal is transmitted to the truck amplifier indicating overfill. The fuel pumping is immediately switched off by the truck amplifier and the excess fuel flows into the tank and overfill is prevented. With a properly installed O2 pit, the excess fuel on the hose can also be accommodated in the tank, even if the overfill point is reached.